Today, I wanted to leave a review on the Uluber magnet. So we're gonna show you kind of a quick example of how I like to use it. And maybe this will kind of be helpful for you. And we're going to kind of give you a step-by-step -step scenario. So this is a giant magnet, which is really nice. So um, what I really like about this is not only it's a magnet, but it kind of has a rubber piece right here and it can be able to hold any of the tools that you need right on your belt. So what I do is right here in the back, as you can see right here, you can just slide it in your belt, throw on the tools, boom, grab the tools that you need to, slide the tools on that you need at all, just kind of slap it on there, you're good to go. So um, what I really like about this is for me, I do anything from a little bit of kind of small residential stuff. I've done HVAC before. So when you have your tool bag on, sometimes you're just needing something really quick to grab. Um, so this is why I like it. Also, let's say if I'm doing electrical, I always grab screwdrivers and guess what we do? We put it in the back of our pocket pointing up like this. And guess what happens when you sit in your brand new vehicle or your car? You sit down and this always stabs inside of our seats that we have. So that is something that I am really, really upset when I do. So by having this specific product, I just slap it on, it has a magnet, it magnetizes it, and then I can be able to not have to worry, hey, I don't have to spend a whole bunch of money if I stab a screwdriver through my seat. Because I guarantee you, if you're watching this, you have done this before. So I would say, save yourself the hassle and grab one of these. I'm gonna show you kind of a up close video of me doing some stuff with it so you guys can see if you like it or not. Hey, and this is how it looks right here and we're gonna show you how to install on your belt. So we're gonna kind of lift up our belt right here and we're just gonna slide it on like that. And then you can grab, let's just say your, um, let's say wire cutters, throw them on there and then you can be able to do whatever you need to, throw your screwdriver on. So that is what I really like about this, that you can be able to have access to your, if you're doing a quick trim out on the electrical, throw it right there. Or if you need to use the pliers, guess what? Strippers, you can strip it, throw it on right there. We're gonna show you if a, maybe a hammer, if you're just like, hey, I just need to use a hammer, we're gonna do hammer, it's a little bit heavier, and kind of show you how an example on that one. Okay, so here is a hammer. Let's see if it holds it. Holds it totally fine. I'm actually kind of shocked. <laughs> so this is the size of the hammer. So let's just say right here, you need to do some finished carpentry, or let's say hammer some stuff in. You're good to go. Let's just see if maybe two hammers can hold it. There you go, two hammers. It looks like if you do shake it with two hammers, it is gonna fall off, but not much sitting areas, you're not gonna use two hammers, so that kind of gives you an idea right here. It is really solid. So if you are looking for the, looking maybe to purchase the magnet, um, I would say it's really great for just kind of any of your needs. It, the magnet is super, super strong. Um, so as you can see, it is extremely strong. So any of your needs, I would say check them out. They're, it's really durable. It's built really durable, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's mainly it. Two thumbs up.